Being an oncologist nowadays is you wake up in the morning, you check your phone to see if anything new has been approved. And if it has, you start thinking about, well, who's in your, pa in your practice who might receive it? The question is, what are you going to do? There's something that's about to happen to the field of oncology that has never happened before, never. And it's going to be happening soon. We just did a weekend-long lung cancer, winter lung meeting a couple weeks ago, and all the other education programs we've talked about. The thinking is that if a drug gets approved, and it seems likely, for example, nivolumab might be, that this is going to be integrated at least into second line and maybe in right. some cases first line. The point I want to get across here tonight is if you think about it, if this becomes routine, uh, certainly with people without targetable mutations and non-small cell and advanced disease, you're talking about 160,000 people. Yep. All of a sudden, are going to be exposed to these drugs. And the infusion rooms that right now are full of people with chemotherapy are going to have a lot of people with checkpoint inhibitors coming in soon. And what that means is a couple of things. One is that the, the whole concept of toxicity is going to be shifted towards autoimmune toxicities. We're going to talk about that tonight. But every time you see a patient with diarrhea, let's face it, that happens every day, is on one of these drugs, you're going to have to think about it, even though it's probably not that. Every time somebody's tired, you're going to have to think about the fact that they might be hypothyroid. If they are short of breath or fatigued, it could be from these drugs. And a lot of people are going to be on these drugs. And the other thing is you're going to see people who right now would be about to go downhill to die, who are going to get better at least for a while and maybe a long time. It's going to be an incredible moment for this field soon. So we need to get ready. Everybody in the field needs to get ready. The nurses, every single person needs to be ready for what could be one of the mo most important epochs, I think, in oncology ever. Dave and I were at a symposium uh, that we do uh, every fall to summarize what's going on with cancer. He was talking about all, the, all these toxicities. Somebody wrote in by iPad, do you think that docs in practice, general oncologists, are going to be able to administer these drugs, or are they all going to have to go to tertiary centers like you could really do that with lung cancer, for example? Yep. And it was funny because we had just talked about giving Fulfirinox Bev, you know. And <laughs> right. I said, if you can give Fulfirinox Bev, you can do this. It is a brave new world, but you can do this. You can do this. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a great era that we're moving into. Thanks to the faculty. Thank you for coming tonight. Have a great evening.